I'm joined today by Assistant Attorney General for the Criminal Division, Leslie Caldwell. I'm also joined by the United States Attorney for the Central District of California, Eileen Decker. I'm joined by FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe and Richard Weber, Chief of the Criminal Investigation Division at the Internal Revenue Service. And we are here to announce a significant step in our ongoing work to combat global corruption and to ensure that the United States offers no safe haven to those who illegally use public funds for private gain. And today, the Department of Justice has filed a civil complaint seeking to forfeit and recover more than $1 billion in assets associated with an international conspiracy to launder funds stolen from One Malaysia Development Barad, or 1MDB, a company wholly owned by the government of Malaysia. Now, the $1 billion in assets that we're discussing today are just a portion of the more than $3 billion that was stolen from 1MDB and laundered through American financial institutions in violation of United States law. 1MDB was created by the Malaysian government to promote economic development through international partnerships and foreign direct investment with the ultimate goal of improving the well-being of the Malaysian people. But unfortunately, sadly, tragically, a number of corrupt 1MDB officials treated this public trust as a personal bank account. Now, our complaint alleges that from 2009 through 2015, these officials and their associates conspired to misappropriate and launder billions of dollars from 1MDB. And as my colleagues will explain in further detail, the co-conspirators laundered their stolen funds through a complex web of opaque transactions and fraudulent shell companies with bank accounts in countries around the world, including Switzerland, Singapore, and the United States. Now, the funds were then used to purchase a range of assets for the conspirators and their relatives and associates, including high-end real estate in New York and Los Angeles, artworks by Vincent van Gogh, Claude Monet, and a jet aircraft. Today's case is the largest single action ever brought by the department's Kleptocracy Asset Recovery Initiative, which was established by Attorney General Eric Holder in 2010 to forfeit the proceeds of foreign official corruption and were possible to use the recovered assets to benefit the people harmed. This case and the Kleptocracy Initiative as a whole should serve as a sign of our firm commitment to fighting international corruption. And it should also send a signal that the Department of Justice is determined to prevent the American financial system from being used as a conduit for corruption. And it should make clear 